Yep, it's no Vortex, and uh, this is just going to be another art vlog where I talk about what I've been up to in terms of art recently. Um, so I'll talk a little bit generally about... Um, I've been painting again, I've also done some live drawing recently, so I'm getting back to, uh, well, drawing and sort of painting from the body again, because I used Indian ink in this live drawing session I went to recently. Um, well, I wanted to show some of that work. I'm also working on a novella at the minute, which um, a novella is like a shorter form of a, no a shorter version of a novel. Um, that's called the Eternal Ship, and I'm about three quarters of the way through that actually. It's gone. It's been quite fast. I've been quite busy working on that, writing that actually. So for the last, I guess, three weeks, it's come together quite quickly. Though obviously, I need to finish it off, tie it up, the ends and everything. <laughs> Yeah, actually finish it off but uh it is getting there it is getting there and i'll have more news on that in the next uh month probably i need to actually edit proof blah 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 but yeah but yeah the main thing i've been working on with the painting is um i've done some paintings from imagination which i can show um i think i already showed the ones i did from imagination but i've also got one i'm working on at the minute and some life drawings that i can show quickly so I'll do that um, and yeah just uh, leave any comments you might have uh, I'm, I've done live drawing before but it's just uh, something I'm trying to get back into at the minute basically um, yeah without further ado I'm going to show you my uh, live drawing sketches basically I basically uh, reorganized the studio a bit that's the self these are paintings I've shown before but some of the sketches from the life drawing, these are the Indian ink versions of those sketches, and then I also did some uh, shadow in the way there, some uh, drawings too. And I'm also working on a painting on the easel, but I'll just show each of the drawings from the life drawing session quickly. So, these are five minute poses and a ten minute pose. I'll also post the uh, JPEGs up so you can see those as well but so with charcoal these are both charcoal sketches charcoal is a very good medium to work with because it's almost like working with paint you can get a quick impression down for these I was aiming for mostly uh, uh, capturing form the model was um, I guess what you describe as voluptuous I suppose she was quite um, I guess you'd say full figured, I suppose. Um, she had this hair that was went down quite long. She had like a long um, ponytail, which is quite interesting to um, include in the drawings. So yeah, I've gone for this sort of expressionistic rendering. Mostly about trying to get the form and the shade right. Obviously the quick sketches, this is a five minute sketch, I'm trying to get it all in. When you get five minutes you're mostly just aiming for capturing the form. This is a long, slightly longer one that turned out okay, ten minutes. And I've got these all just uh, here as a reference because I'm starting to work on a painting based on these. These are Indian ink sketches, so these are longer poses, these are 20 minutes. So I'll just talk about each one. So these two were the first two. I did two each time, so basically they're actually 10 minute sketches both. With Indian ink you sort of have to live with your decisions, it's basically, well that's ink, so if you make a mistake you can't really erase it. So, sort of was obviously sketched in the forms, not really much shading, it's more focused on line, and then I just tried to um, create some negative space. This one's quite a bit abstract actually in a way, like the head is very abstract in that one, it's mostly just an approximation. This is this is when in the second pose when she had her back to us. I think probably my favourite, this is a bit off but I do like this one actually, There's something to that one. Um, and then there was also another pencil sketch I did which turned out quite nice. This is a 10 minute pose, it's with a pencil. And the painting I'm done is basically based, doing is basically based on this 10 minute sketch. You can see that I've tried to put, capture a bit more facial expression. And, uh, but it's quite simple basically, it's just mostly I was just working on 
proportions and capturing the form be, you know, relatively well. So yeah, I've, like, I've reconfigured my studio a bit recently, I'm just trying to get the space organised a bit better. And I'm working on a painting which I'll show you now, which isn't finished, but it will be interesting to show a little painting in progress. Painting I'm working on, based mostly as I said on that, but I'm sort of referring to the, um, the other sketches up here for it. So, yeah, it's... I guess you could say uh, the model had this sort of hair, so orange and black. And I'm just basically sketching out the body and the form at the minute. It needs a lot of work working into. And I've added this little figure here, which I'm not sure about. I might raise that, but it just came to me. Maybe a Chagall sort of influence, possibly. The, obviously, there needs a lot of detail that needs to be added. I've got like the right, the left, her left breast there, and then face which I've just basically sketched on. So it's early days for this, it's basically sketching it out, but it's it's looking okay. Look there's basically I think three or four layers of paint that have laid on there, which and obviously I need to just approach it with. Um probably add a bit more details here and there. It's a bit sloppy in places at the minute. But yeah it's starting to turn into something at least to work more from life now. I actually did a painting quite recently which I'll show here quickly which is a painting of uh, a friend of mine so I'm actually wanting I'm thinking I actually want to work uh, either with models or with people I know to paint from life and um, portraits it's something I want to get into a bit more even if it's just using them as a base for something else you know but yeah that's like my art vlog for this week, so far anyway. So yeah, the, the painting of this my mate, I guess his nickname's Bongo, so just Bongo, which is here. Um, which I'm pretty happy with actually. Someone said it reminded them of Van Gogh's style, which I can understand. It does look similar to some of Van Gogh's work, which only is an influence, of course. I mean, if you're an expressionist painter of any type, that influence will sneak into your work, I think. But yeah, I'll continue to paint, continue to make, and uh, I'm just trying to carry on doing it, basically, and just expand my abilities of life drawing and drawing from the body, basically. Um, I'm interested at the minute in finding my own style a bit more, you know, like especially with the figurative art, because uh, I've done this one painting which I'll just show. I want to do more in this sort of style, I'll just show you in a second. Because I think I really hit something with this painting, so I'm just trying to reproduce what I hit with the painting I'll show you in a second in new works. This painting, I just feel like I've hit something with that painting. I've never showed it before, but I want to sort of reproduce that and uh, yeah, just do something similar called The Laughing Man, this one. Do something similar-ish to this, but also expand on this um, mark making, this style, and uh, yeah. Painting a lot more spare time at the minute, like I'm presently underemployed or unemployed, technically unemployed, but technically underemployed. But it's not always the worst, like I can paint more and do more art at least. So it's not really the end of the world, but um, obviously just living the starving artist dream again, right? <laughs> uh, Chris Cooper Art is my website, by the way, if you want to purchase any artworks of mine. I have plenty of them, All right, in a bit. <laughs>